Well, hello Aquarius. Happy Monday afternoon. Monday afternoon. It is actually dark. It is Monday night. We are doing your bonus reading. Yes, we are. Better late than never, right guys? Um, I just noticed a lot of my decks are missing. Why are so many of my decks missing? What is going on? I have no idea. I, I have no idea. It's like a deck ghost around here. No idea where they went. Um, all right, Aquarius, back to you, cutie pies. Yes, we're doing the bonus reading. Um, so get comfortable. I hope you have your jammies on, have your tea. Let's do this. Let's find out what's going on. Um, using Tarot of the Mystical Moments for your main deck. I'm using Tarot of the Abyss for the clarifying deck. Both the, the, the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box, along with links to other decks I use quite often. I just try to go live because I've never done live. Live kind of terrifies me, terrifies me. I'm already can't speak. Um, and it wouldn't let me, it was blocking my view. Like it kept, I, I don't know. I have to mess around with that. Anyway, okay, Aquarius. Let's just get going. Queen of Wands reverse at the bottom of the main deck. Nine of Pentacles reverse at the bottom of the clarifying deck. Is somebody draining you? T t ooh, maybe this is in a family with the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Ace of Swords reverse. All right, Aquarius, let's just see what's going on. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are an Aquarius, know an Aquarius. Be like being Aquarius. Well, Aquarians, I am so glad you guys are here. And that means you could be an Aquarius and this resonates. Of course, why not? It's your sign. Or you could be like a Virgo and it resonates because you're dealing with an Aquarius. So if you're here to cross watch, you might just find out you're cross watching on your own life, on your own story. So be open to the energies. I know a lot of people watch this uh, for love and you might find um, if you keep your um, mind and your spirit and your soul open to it, you might find it could be within work, it could be within friends, it could be within family. So it always takes it as, take it as it resonates, and if it doesn't resonate, don't take it at all, okay? Don't try to make a fit. General energy for my Aquarians. Like I said, this is the bonus read, so this is extended and longer. It's a long reading. General energy for my Aquarians. What are the collective messages that need to come out? What is it? Ooh, Leo, King of Wands. What is influence in it? I got that song uh, from, I think it's called From the Cannons. The Cannons? I was on fire for you. Maybe you're on fire for someone. What's influencing the King of Wands? The Three of Cups, Aquarius. Man, the bottom of the deck, what was that about? This is good energy. King of Wands is passion, excitement. Three of Cups is uh, is joy. I mean, God knows you guys could use a little joy in your readings. What's the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today? Why are we all here today? What is it? The Night Aquarius. Do you have a new offer? Is there something new coming in or in? Knight of Swords is it's momentum. It feels good. It's it's something new. It's a lot of energy. Not focus not clear but it's okay it's new it doesn't have to be like set in stone and all figured out what's in the past and I'm sorry this is Gemini Cancer and Leo for our, those who are keeping track what's in the past what's in the past for my Aquarians what's in the past the ace of Pentacles reverse just something not coming together not working out not feeling it what is on Aquarian's mind? What is on the Aquarian's mind? What is on your mind? The Five of Wands. I swear this wanted to come out reverse though. I should have let it come out reverse. Two of Pentacles. It makes sense it would have came out reverse because Two of Pentacles. I think you're getting you back. I, I still think that should have been reversed. I just, I honestly feel you're, drama, you're in a drama free zone right now. I think whatever this King of Wands is, either some of you are in a new situation, new connection, or it's coming in for you, or even better, this is you. King of Wands is just going after what you want. Uh, all others be damned. You're just not caring what people think. Three of Cups is you're putting yourself first. You're putting your happiness first. You're putting your life first above and i'm not saying above all you know like if you have children and stuff but above the opinions of others people who just think they have too much you know they give un, uh, unwanted opinions in your life what's in the near future what's in the near future for my aquarians 
What's in the near future for my Aquarians? What's in the near future? Ten of, oh, Ten of Wands reverse. I like that. So if this Five of Wands and Two of Pentacles is on your mind, if it truly is supposed to be upright, Aquarius, maybe this is what you're thinking. There's a new situation to be had. It's either, for like I said, for some of you, it's here. For others, it's coming in. And maybe you might be a little conflicted because the way this is coming in. It's kind of messy. Knight of Swords is, is a bit chaotic. It's a bit, you know, it's, it's kind of like the tower. It might be sudden. It might be forceful, but it might, it's not like clear like you might not be it's 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 new you know it's excitement and five of wands there's something you left behind in the past and it could be three years ago two years ago or it could have been three days ago three weeks ago now i don't think three days ago but um and it, whatever it was it could have been a new connection that just didn't pan out and then you've been doing you getting your balance back and here's this comes in and you're just like is this is this leo gonna be playing around with me i mean i want to be played with don't get me wrong but in the good sense, you know, not in the bad sense. Okay, what, how did the Leos, or Leos, it's all this Leo energy. How did the Aquarians see themselves? Sorry about that. How did the Aquarians see themselves? How did the Leo, I said it again. I'm telling you, I have Leos watching this. How did the Aquarians see themselves? Okay, Queen of Swords. I just said Leos watching this and Libra's like, I don't know about Leo, but I sure am. No. Uh, Queen of Swords. I think this is your bullshit meter, to be honest. Queen of Swords has a, a her bullshit meter, hers or his is on. But it's also about being really clear. And it's interesting that we have a knight to a queen, right? I feel like you've gone through some tough lessons in the past. It's only got you more focused on what you want and what you don't want. And here comes maybe a more immature energy coming in. It's kind of fun, but you don't know how serious they are. You don't know if they're in it for the long haul. Um, there's an Aquarius that might be like, I want a contract. Are you playing around with me? Or are you going to be out tomorrow? I need to know this before I invest anything. But Ten of Wands reverse. I like that in the near future. I feel like that could be somebody putting your uh, mind at ease. What is the energy coming in to influence this? For my Aquarians, what is the energy coming in to influence this? What is the energy coming in to influence this? Ooh, three of wands. This is right. Aquarius doesn't need a ship to come in. You see that ship in Aquarius's hands? They have their own ship. Yes, they do. So whatever comes into your life, it's a bonus. You're not needing someone to complete you, Aquarius. You just want someone to compliment you, right? Three of wands is waiting. Maybe you're just, you're good on your own. And if something comes in to compliment you, you might take it out for a ride. But if, 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 if what comes to shore is some broken down ass boat, that's less than what you got going on, I think you might let it sail on by. I just feel like you're like the guardian of your life right now. Uh, what is, what, or I should say of your energy right now. What is in your emotions? What's in Aquarian's emotions? What are, what are in Aquarian's emotions? That's better grandma. What are in the Aquarian's emotions? What is it? The two of wands reverse. So you made a decision, made a decision. Interesting. Here we go from the knight to the queen. Here we go from the three to the two. Um, two of wands reverse. Three of wands is picking a path. What I feel like maybe this ship is coming in and maybe you just might be boarding it. You might be boarding it, Aquarius. What is on, What is the outcome here? What is the outcome for my cutie pies? I love my Aquarians. What is the outcome for you guys? What is the outcome for Aquarius? What is the outcome for Aquarius? What? 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 It's your card reverse. So is that where your decision is? You'd be like, N -n -n, nope, Stacy, I'm letting the ship go on by. I, I, I'm not. I'm not fully over whatever this. Yeah, Tower and Eight of Cups reverse. Look at that. Look at that. Actually, I do feel like whatever this is is coming in suddenly. I think Leo, Leo's read, the no, there's, of course, Leo's all in your reading. Um, whatever their reading was, it was very sudden, something new. So maybe this is coming in, but Eight of Cups reverse. You may not be willing to walk the path with this person. But you know, Aquarius, 
If someone new comes into your life, it's, you don't need a four of wands immediately. Enjoy the two of cups, enjoy the fool energy because that's where the magic is, you know, in the fool energy where there's no attachment, there's no set anything. We don't need to know what tomorrow is. We don't even need to know what next year is. We just don't need to know. Let's just enjoy tonight and enjoy each other. And trying to enjoy whatever this is without any type of attachment. What is the king of wands and the three of cups? For my Aquarians. King of Wands and Three of Cups. I just think you meet somebody, King of Wands and Three of Cups. And I think I think that they're they're Mr. or Miss Super Charmer. That's what a King of Wands. They're so charming. They're so charming. Oh, no, they really are. It's a charming energy. It's very charismatic. Three of Cups, maybe you met them at a bar, maybe out with friends, whatever this is. And it's like maybe you brought them home with you for the night. For what are you? You know that I feel like that's the story out there. Knight of Swords, you might be thinking it's going too fast and you might be wanting to pull the brakes because the star reverse, you might be a little bit of not really. Well, you might be a little pessimistic in love right now, or maybe in this particular situation, you just don't see it working out, but it could be fun for the moment. What is the King of Wands and the Three of Cups? King of Wands and the Three of Cups. What is that doing here? Ace. Yeah. Ace of Wands reverse. Ooh. Why is that? Ace of Wands reverse. I think somebody wants you, Aquarius, but you you may not wanting to be drinking from their cup just yet. Oh, holy hell, I said cup and look at this. It's a it's a temperance, but it looks like the two of cups, right? Aquarius is like, no, I really I I was out at a bar. Here's my story. I was out at a bar with this three of cups because show was up. And there could be something in it. They could have put something in it. I'm not drinking from this cup. Uh-uh. Pass. I don't know. I just honestly feel like there's an Aquarius overthinking something. Or, you know what? Maybe your intuition is telling you to pass. And that is okay. And this reading is saying, hey, here's someone available. Is it a soulmate of all soulmates? Maybe not. But it could be fun. And I can hear an Aquarius saying, or it could be a train wreck. What is this Knight of Swords? Reason for the reading. What is the Knight of Swords? Gemini energy. Reason for the reading. Knight of Swords doing here. What is it? And the eight again, the Eight of Cups reverse. I just don't think you're ready. I don't, I think that's what it is. There was an Eight of Cups reverse right here with the Tower and Eight of Cups reverse. And I think you just don't want any kind of catastrophes going on in your life. I'm telling you, there's a love offer on the table. But I feel like Seven of Wands reverse, two separate, completely different energies going on. Seven of Wands reverse is you just not letting anybody in. Um, or let's just say this person in, okay? Not anybody, but this particular person. And they're just like, you can, you can run Aquarius, but you can't hide. I'm going to find you in that magician energy. Um, yeah, Five of Wands reverse below that. I just don't think you want the drama right now. Maybe you're focused on work, on your security. You're a single parent. You're focused on your life focused on getting you back to a two of pentacles what is this ace of pentacles reverse and for some of you you maybe did take a huge money hit lost a job in between jobs this comes in and you're just like my life it, my focus needs to be on my life right now what is the ace of pentacles reverse for my aquarians in the past Ooh, or you got out of a soul contract devil reverse you got out of something that was very toxic draining um hard to even be in or be at. I say be at if it's a job, be in if it's a relationship. Ace of Pentacles reverse kind of tells me it wasn't a marriage. It was probably something maybe you were at short term, but it really got its grips into you um, and you had a hard time breaking free from it. What is the Five of Wands and Two of Pentacles on your mind? What is this? Five of Wands and Two of Pentacles on my Aquarian's mind. What is that? Capricorn and Leo. What is that? We have, yeah, three of swords reverse and the four of cups. I, let's, let's break for messages, okay? If this is a past person, and I was trying to ignore it, I'm not gonna lie, I was trying to ignore it because every reading's gotta be the past person. They have to show up, I swear to God, they have to show up. It could be somebody apologizing, and if that's the case, you're not interested. Let's now try to focus on new energy, four of cups, Three of Swords reverse. To stay in the new, I feel like you're in the Four of Cups. 
I honestly do. And you're also in the Three of Swords reverse. Three of Swords reverse in this case, I think you're healed. I think you're still trying to figure out what went wrong in a past situation. This is learning from the pain. Um, I think you're still healing from it. You're still trying to understand it so it doesn't happen again, not because you want to repeat it. That's why you're trying to learn from it. But you are, I think you're pretty much healed from it but not healed enough where you're focused on an ace of cups. Four of cups could be like, is this the most exciting time of my life? No, but you know what? I'm at peace under this tree. And I feel like this is an offer coming to you, but I don't. I just don't feel like you're interested in it. I really don't. I really, really don't. Okay, why the 10 of wands reverse in the near future? I think you're getting your money back, honestly. You're getting your balance back. But this person, it feels very, very persistent. Ten of Wands reverse, Knight of Pentacles reverse. But look at this, King of Wands and Two of Cups. I think somebody is really going to put the pressure on you. I think because, uh, yeah, Two of Swords, Injustice. I just don't think you're interested in love right now for the Aquarius I'm reading for. Or it's this person, it's one or the other. What is this Queen of Swords, Libra Energy? Queen of Swords. I feel like, honestly, this is your security system, your bullshit meter. You're up here making sure, watching people coming from miles and miles away. So you can't get surprised like you did. I, I do feel like with this Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Devil reverse, I think this surprised you. I think a person surprised you. I think you were surprised by how maybe hard you fell for someone, how deep you fell for someone, and you only, it may have only been like a three-month affair. And the person may have did you really wrong because the devil reverses here. And you had a hard time healing from it. So much so, you're taking that three of swords reverse with you. It just, it's kind of hard to shake the, that, what they did. It's not that you want the person back, but you still might be trying to understand why did they do it, you know? Why did I even have to go through that? What is this queen of swords? And for some of you, I feel like this came at a time where you also may have lost your job, you know, with the pandemic or with the with the economy, you could have lost your job and you went through this love. It was a double whammy. I feel like an Aquarius got hit from all sides. What is this Queen of Swords, how you see yourself? Really strong boundaries going on. What is the, why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Yeah, a King of Wands reverse. Leo energy. I just, I feel like you were done wrong. Okay. By somebody who was very selfish. They were focused on themselves. I think they told you one thing and n never followed through. And it, not even that they did it something else. Why? Who is this King of Wands reverse? What did they do to my Aquarius? What is this King of Wands reverse? What is this King of Wands reverse? What is this King of Wands reverse doing here? And the strength reverse. I'll tell you this though. I almost feel like this. You see yourself uh, keeping an eye out. Maybe you are watching this person because maybe you do watch a lot of tarot readings and the person's going to come back. So you might really have your eye on this person. It doesn't necessarily mean this person's coming back, but this is where your focus is. Your focus is on, I'm going to keep an eye on this bastard because I don't want them at my door. I don't want them again. But the problem is, is if you're keeping your eye out constantly looking back, you're not looking forward at the same time. But the energy coming in is somebody who's only looking forward and not back. And the truth be told, what everything behind you, Aquarius, you already outgrew. You can't go back there. Judgment came in and, you know, and there was instant growth in the situation um, of where you are now. You're not even the same person who this person dealt with. This person wouldn't, couldn't handle who you are now. You have grown so much. You've fortified yourself so much. You're so much stronger that you're not even at risk for falling for this type of energy anymore. So pat yourself on the back for all the healing you've done. And maybe some of you just need to stay here for a little while in this healing process. And you want to, I honestly feel you're really working on your money. I do. I feel like you're working on your security, but I do feel like there's this love offer coming in. Something new. What is this uh, three of wands? Energy you don't see coming. Aries energy, three of wands. What is this three of wands doing here? I feel like that might even be it. What is this three of wands doing here? Energy you don't see coming. Three and another three, a three of pentacles. 
And what's interesting is it's wands and pentacles. This is not somebody in the swords and the cups. Swords are overthinking or thinking about doing it, or I'm, maybe this is the one, I don't know. No, I really feel, I think I feel this. And the cups is all about all, all emotion. No, we've got somebody coming in that is all about the pentacles, which is let's, let's make this happen. And the wands is, and it's interesting because the Knight of Swords kind of adopts that kind of energy, even though it's a sword is, this person I feel like is just gonna come at you and it might feel a little too forceful for your liking. I, th I really think the right person who, who comes into your life probably needs to come at a, gent a, a more gent gentler approach. So if you are a cross watcher watching this and you are interested in an Aquarius, I implore you, don't sit there and be a Knight of Swords. You better think this shit out. You better, you, seriously, because an, this Aquarius has their guard up big time. And if you come in like a knight of swords, it's not gonna happen. You need to come in with king energy upright, not king reverse. This Aquarius is not gonna be playing around with anybody. Not the past energy, not future energy that's coming in player mode. I, I, I just think you, you see people's game at this point. But this three of pentacles, I feel like this person's gonna come in and I almost feel, honestly, what I feel with this three of pentacles on this three of wands, I think they might be rushing it. I think they're gonna rush it. And I think that's going to cause you to be a star reverse. That's how I'm kind of feeling this. It doesn't mean they're a player. I think they might come in with that player feel because they're coming in so fast. Because maybe they just have a lot of feeling for you and they're really bad at this. What is this two of wands reverse? I do feel like they're more immature than you or younger than you. What is this two of wands reverse in your emotions? Aries energy. Two of wands reverse. Maybe you have them on hold. Like you're not making a decision, but you're not. You might be kind of going on ghost mode. What is this? Ooh, ooh, I said ghost mode. You are Queen of Swords reversed. I will say this Queen of Swords, she is no Queen of Wands. She's not a party girl on her best day. She's a bit of an introvert. She's protected. And if you are friends or in a inner circle of a Queen of Wands or Queen of uh, Swords, you are highly honored because she just doesn't let a lot of people in. This chick who's reversed, she doesn't really, whoever's trying to get in, she's she's not gonna let it in i think i think that's your decision to really pull yourself back so if this new offer comes in i'll be honest i wish it was the one and it could have been the one i don't know but i feel like it's going to do something to make you feel unsafe to trust them maybe they're gonna adopt the energy of the person you you know tried like hell and you've been working on getting over um whatever this is yeah, I just don't feel like you feel there's a safe option. What is this 201's reverse and the Queen of Swords reverse? Yeah, three of cups reverse, three threes. I just, I I think you might have a bit trust issues, to be honest. Three of cups reverse on a Queen of Swords reverse. You don't know who to trust, so Aquarius will trust no one. No one knew. What is the star reverse in the outcome? What is the star reverse for my Aquarians in the outcome? Star reverse doing here. Yeah, look at that, the hang one reverse, hangman reverse. This, there's a lot of meanings to the hangman reverse. Um, it's it's already having that fresh perspective and doing something about it. That fresh perspective is, I don't wanna deal with players anymore. I don't wanna deal with kings reverse. I don't wanna deal with three of cups reverse. I don't wanna deal with people who is gonna put me in an eight of cups reverse. I'm healing or I have healed. I've done so much work on myself. I'm focused on my money and I don't need somebody to come along and get my focus back into this healing mode because they're gonna do some type of fuckery. I'm just not interested in that kind of that kind of connection. And I'm telling you, it doesn't mean that they're coming in like that, but they're gonna do something to make you feel like they are like that. And with all these threes here, this is my feeling. This is what I'm feeling. I think they're gonna try to impress you, but how they're gonna impress you, instead of impressing you with wearing really fancy clothes or coming up in a nice car, they're gonna impress you like they're really wanted. I don't think they are. I think they're, they have low, they might, they might, have a bit of low self-esteem they might always check their phone they're going to do something how i feel to make you feel that they're wanted 
by other energies. And as soon as they do that, you're cut. Yeah, Queen of Swords, if she's got a count to one, you know how parents would count to three when a child acts up. If I got a count to three, you're in trouble. If I got a count to three, you're grounded or going to a corner. No, if this Aquarius has to count to one, that means if this person gives them pause to think, could this be a player, you're already cut out. That's a Queen of Swords reverse. You're already, it's, it's done, it's over, no second chances. Aquarius isn't effing around these days. You're really not. Nine of Cups reverse and a Six of Cups. I think whoever did this drained you emotionally. And I do feel like, the, honestly, this could be another soulmate. But we will never know until you take it. Is it a soulmate forever or is it another lesson? You're going to have a life of lessons. You can't avoid that, Aquarius. But I think Aquarius is going to try. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly feel like you're going to try. There you are, the chariot. That looks, you know, what's interesting is this card and your card, the Six of Swords, look very, very similar. Kind of, you know, Six of Swords in the chariot. It is, it's the minor and major, so I'm not surprised. Tell me what is, how about this? Let's move the gang over because it's only at 20, what, 25 minutes. What is, what is Aquarius? What does Aquarius, like, what does this person, how about this? What does this person want with Aquarius? 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 What is it? Oh, it's the Knight of Swords reverse again. But you know, the Knight of Swords reverse is, I don't think this person even knows what they want. I'll be honest. I don't think this is like, a CEO of a company or anything. I think they they could have come out of their own relationship. They might be new to the dating field. They there's I I they're they're younger. I even if they're older than you, they're new to the dating field. There's something they're not going to handle it very well. But a Knight of Swords reverses. They're they're clear that the Knight of Swords reverse is a little more clear than the Knight of Swords upright. Um, I always think of it as a 1.5. If a one is Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords is two and the King of Swords is three, your card. The Knight of Swords reverse is a 1.5. We're getting a little closer to that Queen of Swords. It's getting a little more clear and, and trying to figure it out. Um, but let's, let's, what does this person want with Aquarius? I just don't think they're going to come in very right. What does the person want with Aquarius? Knight of Swords reverse and the Chariot. I just, I, I, th I think they want to take you out. I honestly, that's, it's not a huge reading where I'm like, this is the one Aquarius that I don't know. All I know is they want to take you out. They're interested in you. I don't think they even know what they want. They just want you right now. Now that does sound like player. I understand that. Aquarius is like, see, there's the problem. What is the chariot and the knight of swords reverse and the king of swords reverse? But Aquarius is like, uh, uh, if the Queen of Swords reverse is no, like very introvert King of Swords reverse is like, I'm not even going to discuss this any further, Stacey. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed, my dear, because this rating is now over. Topic is closed. That's a King of Swords reverse. He's not changing his mind. Aquarius, you're not changing your mind on this person. Maybe, honestly, let's be honest, maybe you're just really not interested in them either way. But they're very interested in you. I think that King of Wands then, after this entire reading, remember the king of wands that's completely buried i think this is how they feel for you i think they're going to be very charming they're going to use all those little charming lines i just i feel like they're just new to this or something like i said maybe they're new to dating but they see you they want you and they're going to come in you know uh, they're just not going to come in right i mean not in a wrong not not, not like that but they're just not going to come in like they've watched like a thousand romantic movies over the weekend this is a this is kind of rough it's going to come in rough and i i just i don't think you're interested i don't know why we're having this reading i guess we're having it because this is coming in for someone Alrighty, my Aquarians, have a great night. I will probably do your reading. I'll probably do your reading. Um, 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 um probably, I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday, uh, maybe Wednesday, a uh, weekly read. But I hope you guys have a great start to your week. Happy Monday, everybody, and have a great night. Take care.